so this is the denim jacket that i use for this diy it's an oversized denim jacket and i used this beautiful african wax fabric i liked it particularly because of the colors and i also liked the pattern as well then i laid it on top of the denim jacket and made sure that it was on a flat surface then i started using a choke and i was just slightly rubbing it on top of the fabric and then i would get like a sort of like a straight line where the seams were underneath the jacket just to get an idea of where the seams were <laughs> then I would cut about a centimeter away from where I thought the seam was Then I started folding in my fabric and just pinning it down and making sure that it was aligning with the seam underneath. And then I also did the same thing for the back. <coughs> then I also did the same thing for the back. And I also tried to make sure that the pattern on my fabric, the print was sort of like straight going down.
So now I'm going to go and sew over like all these pins. I thought I was going to do a tucking stitch first but I'm realizing that it's very secure and all the folds are in place and I've already ironed them. So now I'm just going to my sewing machine and then just sew over the pins. I've already folded this part and ironed it over. So now it's like firmly secure. So here are all the pins, the corners. Everywhere. So I've done both sides. And now I'm just going to go and sew that on the sewing machine. So right now I'm done sewing. And now I'm just trimming away the loose threads so here how it looks like this is how it looks like on the front and then on the inside that's how it looks like this is all the stitching this is the stitching on the inside but on the outside it's barely visible it's not even visible because it's just getting lost in the pattern of the fabric. Can't really see any stitching. So now I'm just trimming away any loose threads. And this is the back. This is the inside of the back. I think it looks really cool guys um, it's a very simple DIY very short simple DIY doesn't take much time at all and as you can see I'm already done and you can just leave it here if you wish and there you have a DIY a cool DIY So the last thing I did was to take like um, a little cloth and just like wipe away some of that chalk. Some of the chalk went onto the, but it's really not that much. And then, so if you don't have a sewing machine, you can definitely use your hands. You can definitely like just hand sew this DIY. I think it will actually look very nice if you hand sew and do like a nice hemming stitch and it will really hide like the threads. But either way, it's still fine. So if you didn't watch my last video, um, I posted this bag this DIY bag it was just a normal cheap uh, handbag and I DIYed it and covered it with some African print fabric it's matching with the denim jacket so if you'd like to see how I did that I'm going to put the video in the description box so I'll put the link and I'll also put in like um, the video at the end of this video so you can just click on it and it will also be in the same playlist and so if you guys also want to check out how i diy'd this handbag please do check it out so that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye